Exercise 16. A company had the following assets and liabilities at the beginning and end of a recent year. And we're asked to determine the net income earned or net loss incurred by the business during the year for each of the following separate cases. So for each of our four companies, the equity, December 31, 2010, is 74269 the difference between assets of 130000 and liabilities of 55731 At the end of the year, equity for each of the four companies is 109182 The $183,500 worth of assets minus the $74,318 in liabilities. So if we have four companies, beginning net worth is 74269 ending net worth is 109182 does that make each of these companies equivalent? Is there any one of the four that's superior to the other? Without the detail of equity, the owner's investments during the year, withdrawals during the year, plus or minus the net income or loss for the year, we have no way to decide which of these four is the best company. So let's look at Company A. Company A, the owner made no investments in the business and no withdrawals were made during the year. So again, beginning equity, 74269 we had no investments, no withdrawals, and at the end of the year the net worth, equity, is 109,182. Equity sits on the right hand side of the equation. It has a normal credit balance. Equity is increased based on the owner's investments and any net income earned by the company. Equity is decreased for the owner's withdrawals and any net losses incurred by the company, giving us an ending credit balance. The beginning net worth, the equity, is 74,269. We had zero investments, zero withdrawals, either plus the net income or minus the net loss, yields an ending equity of 109,182. We set this up as an equation, 74,269 plus net income equals 109,182. Subtracting 74,269 from each side leaves net income is 34,913. So in this case, we do not have a net loss, we have net income of 34913 Company B. The owner made no investments in the business but withdrew $1,150 in cash per month for personal use. Beginning equity, 74269 zero in investments. Withdrawals of $1,150 per month multiplied by 12 months. Total withdrawals, 13800 And the ending equity is again 109182 74269 plus zero minus 13,800, either plus net income or minus net loss, is 109,182. When we look at our equation, 74,269 plus zero minus 13,800 plus net income equals 109,182. When we combine the 74,269 and the negative 13,800, we have 60,469 plus net income is 109,182. Subtracting 60,469 from each side leaves us with net income is 48,713. So we don't have a net loss. We have net income 48,713. Company C. The owner made no withdrawals during the year but invested an additional $45,000 cash. Beginning equity 74,269 plus $45,000 in investments. Zero in withdrawals and an ending equity balance of 109,182. Beginning equity plus 45,000 minus zero in withdrawals, either plus net income or minus the net loss, is 109,182. Our equation becomes 74,269 plus 45,000 in investments plus net income equals 109,182. When we combine the 74,269 and the 45,000, we have 119,269 plus net income equals 109,182. Subtracting 119,269 from each side leaves us with net income is a negative 10,087. So for this company, they did not have net income. Instead, they incurred a net loss equal to $10,087. Company D. The owner withdrew $1,150 cash per month for personal use and the owner invested an additional $25,000 in cash. Beginning equity, again 74269 
plus 25,000 in investments, minus 1150 per month multiplied by 12 months, total withdrawals of 13,800, and an ending equity balance of 109,182. Looking at the T account, 74,269 plus 25,000 minus 13,800, either plus net income or minus net loss, equals 109,182. Setting this up as an equation, we have 74,269 plus 25,000 minus 13,800 plus net income equals 109,182. Combining the 74,269, the positive 25,000, and the negative 13,800 gives 85,469 plus net income equals 109,182. Subtracting 85,469 from each side, gives net income of 23713 The company did not have a net loss. Instead, realized net income of 23713 So when we began this problem, it looked like we had four identical companies. They each had the same beginning equity and the same ending equity. But you can't just look at the balance sheet. In order to find the detail of how well the company is actually operating, we need to look at the detail of equity. We need to look at the owner's investments, withdrawals, and net income. Once we filled in the detail of the actual equity transactions for each of our four companies, we realized that these are not equivalent companies. Which company do you prefer? Of the four, the strongest company is Company B. It generated $48,713 in net income and allowed the owner to withdraw $13,800 for personal use. The weakest of the four companies is Company C. The owner needed to invest $45,000 in personal assets, of which $10,087 were lost as a result of the operation of the business. So we can't make decisions based on the balance sheet alone. In order to make decisions, we need to look at the detail of equity, which are chronicled on the income statement and the statement of owner's equity. 